Every second year from years 3 to year 9, students have to do a test created by Julia Gillard in 2008, which is quite an interesting idea, but it's executed very poorly. This test is run every year to help governments and schools to see if they are meeting the educational outcomes that all students are meant to have, and this test is called NAPLAN, which stands for the National Assessment Program Literacy and Numeracy. But is this really a good way to see if NAPLAN is a good idea? Well, that plan doesn't work as well as it should, and here's why. In 2019, that plan results from years 7 to 9, the writing skills decreased and declined. Throughout the entire decade, years 7 and 9's writing skills had gone backwards with experts saying that students need more work. But what that plan tends to miss out on is how writing skills would have increased but the people marking it could be sick of reading stories, because if you don't know, the writing part of the NAPLAN test is the only test that isn't marked by a robot, so it becomes a bit suspicious when the only test that isn't marked by a robot is the one that is going down in quality? Another factor that could possibly go into this is that about a decade ago when NAPLAN was a brand new idea, the year 7s and 9s could have taken it a lot more seriously than what they do now, as students have now learnt what NAPLAN actually is and what it actually isn't. But that's not all. According to an official government website, aka the people who created NAPLAN, in the first place, tells us that NAPLAN isn't an effective assessment tool, which becomes strange as they made a big deal about how 7s and 9s writing skills had declined. So the story isn't adding up here. According to this government website, it tells us that it breaks the basic rules and concept of valid assessment. Now, that's not a very good thing to know about that plan, now is it? This government website also tells us that it doesn't take into account ethnic backgrounds or culture that students could have originated from. So you're seriously telling me that NAPLAN is a good test. The government website also tells us that NAPLAN can put stress on the students, which is 100% true. If a student doesn't know anything about NAPLAN, they could be quite scared about something that isn't really anything. So how is NAPLAN a good test? This government website also tells us that it forces teachers to teach their students extra work on top of their already created curriculum, which can put stress on the teachers. So how is NAPLAN a good test? Every single fact I've stated so far about it is what an actual government website said. A website by the name of Edu Research Matters has an article from 2017 about the dark side of NAPLAN what this article mainly talks about is how the attention is diverted from curriculum implementation, which means all of the teachers' resources are soaked into that plan, which many teachers don't want to do. And what's scary is, if the federal education minister had his way, year ones would be forced to do that plan as well, which is ridiculous. It also mentions more about the writing part of the test and how it's humans judging a story. So it'd be up to the person whether it's a good story or not, as different people have different opinions. So tell me, how is NatPlan a good test? So from this, do you really think that NatPlan is effective? Of course it's not. If you still believe this, then uh, I don't know what to tell you, buddy.